Thank you, Sheena. Now at six, the Texas church shooting has reignited the debate over guns here in Rhode Island and across the country. Tomorrow, Vice President Mike Pence and his wife will travel to Sutherland Springs. And he plans to meet with first responders, those injured in the attack, and the families of the 26 people killed. Today, we learn they ranged in age from 77 years old to as young as 18 months. We've also learned new information about gunman Devin Kelly. Police say he sent threatening messages to his mother-in-law who attended the church in the past. Police also say he had three guns with him that he bought himself, despite previous charges of domestic violence and animal cruelty. Highway News News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from the mobile newsroom with local reaction. Steph. Well, that death toll, Mike and Shannon, is just unimaginable and yet all too common in our recent history. As we wait to learn more about the victims and their stories, elected officials are grappling with what can be done to prevent the next one. A moment of silence during a visit to Rhode Island by House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi to honor the victims of the deadly church shooting in Sutherland Springs. Pelosi saying it's not enough. Our members are getting just exasperated by moments of silence. They want time of action. Democrats in Congress have long fought for universal background checks for firearm sales and a renewal of the assault weapons ban that expired in 2004. Congressman David Cicilline, one of the leaders of that effort. Sadly, we have not seen any willingness on, our, on the part of our Republican colleagues to move forward, even with basic things. I think it's short-sighted and sophomoric to think that a further gun control could stop a situation like this. Mike Stenhouse from the conservative Rhode Island Center for Freedom and Prosperity says the shooter could have gotten a gun a different way even if a store had not sold him one. Criminals break the law. It doesn't matter what the law is. President Trump saying the focus should be on mental health. This isn't a guns situation. And Nancy Pelosi was asked today in Warwick what she thought of President Trump's comments. She says she doesn't like to spend a lot of time commenting on what the president says. Governor Gina Raimondo also ordering flags to be lowered to half staff. She said her thoughts and prayers are with the victims, but also said she was praying for action in Congress. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.